Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch with either Snowbreeze or Ponage tool. Now, both of these tools were updated today. Snowbreeze was updated to version 2.2, and Ponage tool was updated to version 4.2, and they both support a 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak thanks to the new exploit that was recently released in the new version of Green Poison. Now the device compatibility for Snowbreeze 2.2 is the iPhone 3G, 3GS, and the iPhone 4 as well as the iPod Touch 2nd generation MC and non-MC models, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad. Now, the compatibility for Ponage Tool is exactly the same. The only thing is, it does not support the iPod Touch 2nd generation. So if you're a Mac user and you want to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd generation, I recommend you either get a Windows computer and you use uh, Snowbreeze 2.2, or you actually use the latest version of Green Poison, which is Green Poison RC6. And I will have a link to the Green Poison RC6 jailbreak video in the more info as well. Now, uh, just to let you guys know, I will have all of the written instructions and all of the downloads in uh, the more info. It's actually a link, so you guys can just click on the link and then you guys can find all of the written instructions and downloads there. So I'm just going to start off and show you guys what you're going to have to download. So uh, here is one of my Mediafire uploads. It is Snowbreeze version 2.2. Now only download this if you are on Windows and obviously to download it you just click here to start the download. Now this one is Ponage Tool version 4.2 and this is only for Mac users and again you can just click here to start the download you're also going to have to have your firmware on your desktop or somewhere that you remember that you can easily access it now this goes for both Ponage Tool and Snowbreeze so just come to this website select your firmware from the drop down menu and then uh, just again select it and then click download and again we're gonna want 4.2.1 so for instance if I'm on the iPod touch fourth generation I can just select 4.2.1 and hit download. So because I am on Windows, I'm actually going to just be demonstrating with Snowbreeze. I will actually show you guys a quick version of it with Ponage Tool, but the method is exactly the same and the instructions are exactly the same. Uh, Mac users can actually ignore this part though. What you're going to want to do if you are on Windows Vista or 7 is right click on Snowbreeze, go to Properties, and then go to Compatibility, and then run this program in Compatibility mode 4 XP service pack 2 and also make sure you check this right here run this program as an administrator and then hit apply and go OK and then you can either open up Snowbreeze or Ponage tool depending on if you are on Windows or Mac and then just hit yes if you're on Windows when it asks you if you want to run the program and then once you get it you can just click OK close the credits on Snowbreeze and then just hit next now if you are actually on a Ponage tool on a Mac, I'll show you what you're going to do. You're going to select your device, whichever one you want, and for me I will just do it on the iPad and then you just go next and you want to make sure you have expert mode checked as well. Now the same exact thing goes for Snowbreeze. What you're going to do first is browse for your firmware and I have mine right here, iPad 1 4.2.1 and then you just hit open and then it identifies it and it selects it as the iPad. Then what you can do is you can select next and then you select expert mode or if you don't actually know what you're doing and you just want the basic normal jailbreak you can just hit simple mode and then you get all of these options now for Mac users in Ponage tool what you're going to do is simply browse for it if you did expert mode if you did simple mode it will automatically try and find it for you but again because we are on expert mode we're going to just go ahead and find it ourselves and then once you have found the firmware you can simply click open and it will process it and all of the steps from here on out will be the same what you're gonna do is just customize it to whatever you would like now I'm just gonna go through it really quick in general here
here in Snow Breeze, you have the option to enable background wallpaper, battery percentage, and native multitasking if you are on the iPod Touch second generation or the iPhone 3G. Now you also have the option to install animated boot logos and also install SSH so that you can actually SSH into the raw file system of your device. So you can do that if you want. I recommend leaving the root partition size as it is, which is 920 megabytes. Then you can go next and you actually get the option to add custom applications. Uh, so if you have deb files, you can do that. You can also add sources here as well. And you can also download packages from different sources as deb files and include them in your IPSW as well there. Now next, you actually get the option to build your IPSW. So you can just select next and you can actually just hit the arrow. Now if you are on Snow Breeze, you actually get the option to play Pac-Man. I found that it actually doesn't work. It just gives me a white screen right here. So I don't know if you'll actually get Pac-Man to work or not. Now that is not included in Pwnage tool. It's just something nice that the developer actually threw in there. And then what you can do is you can just exit out once you have completed it. It will actually show you how to enter DFU mode once it has built your IPSW. However, again, the link that I've provided in the more info has instructions on how to enter DFU mode properly and you guys can follow those instructions if you seem lost and if you just need written instructions on how to enter DFU mode. Once you have actually entered DFU mode and you have your custom firmware that either Snowbreeze or Ponage tool has made and it is on your desktop, for instance mine is right here, Snowbreeze iPad 4.2.1, then you can open up iTunes and once it is in DFU mode it will detect that and it will say that your device is in recovery mode it is actually in DFU mode and it states that you have to restore your iDevice in order to use it with iTunes now what you're going to do from here is you're going to hold down shift if you are on Windows and hold down alt if you are on Mac and then just click restore and browse for that snow breeze or Ponage tool custom firmware that you created for your iDevice now mine is right there and you just go next and you go restore so then you just let it go through the process I'm actually not going to go through the entire process for uh, the sake of time in this video if you guys actually get an error towards the very end of your restore and it looked like it was almost about to complete but then it gives you an error message and it just puts your iPhone iPad or iPod touch into recovery mode and basically you can't get it out of recovery mode and it's just stuck in recovery mode don't try and restore again your restore is actually done it's just Apple's way of trying to prevent people from either downgrading or actually installing a custom firmware on their iDevice. You can just follow the link that is again in the more info that has written instructions and it will tell you how to actually kick your iDevice out of recovery mode using rec boot. Uh, basically you can just let me know what you guys think about this jailbreak in the comment section below. Let me know if it worked for you. Let me know how it went for you and also be sure to rate this video up and subscribe if you aren't already. I hope you guys like this video. This is ICU signing out.